Hi everyone, my name is Jake Song, a marketer at Above Semiconductor, and right here with me is Hyogun, our application engineer. Today we will be introducing you how to set up the integrated development environment for our 32-bit uh, BLE MCU and how to get started with our BLE starter kit. First, you need an A31R118 starter kit like this. Also, you would need a 5-pin USB cable to connect to your PC. The starter kit not only has the A31R118 MCU, but also a debugging MCU to ease your development. Connect one end of the mini 5-pin cable to the USB connector on the starter kit board. Connect the other end of the mini 5-pin cable to a USB port on your PC. Power on the board and you will see the LED light turn on. This indicates that the starter kit is powered via the USB on your PC. Once you connect the starter kit to the PC, CMC's step driver is automatically installed. CMC's step driver is a standard debugger interface software for ARM Cortex cores, and this driver needs to be installed properly on the PC. This concludes the hardware setting. Now let's install Kyle Microvision 5 compiler. First, open the Kyle compiler installation page using an internet browser. Click the download button and enter your personal information to download the installation file. Run the downloaded installer file and set path to install Kyle compiler. Then click the install button. If you see the Kyle UI, the compiler has been successfully installed. The example codes for A31R118 are composed of command line interfaces and can be run using UART communication and a terminal-based program such as TerraTerm. Now, let's download TerraTerm from the website. Run TerraTerm and from the file menu on the top, go to New Connection and then to Serial. Here you will need to select the correct port connected to the board. Then go to Setup serial port and set the bow rate to 115,200. Now TerraTerm is ready. In order to run the A31R118 starter kit, you would need the software development kit and SDK. You'd need to contact our sales or distributor in your region to access the SDK. The SDK is compressed zip file. When uncompressed, you can again find three different files of tool, SRC, and DOC. Flash loader takes place in the SRAM of the target board MCU, and it enables you to download the binary file built from the compiler into the MCU's flash memory. Various example codes are provided within the example directory for the starter kit operation. Among them, let's run the peripheral example to get started with BLE communication on the starter kit. Peripheral example runs peripheral and slave operations of BLE communication. Now set the port and system configurations in the main.c function. Please configure BLE options using BLE SYS OPT and BLE SYS INIT functions related to the operating system, link layer, GAP, and GATT. Finally, if you run BLE GAP reset, BLE setup completes and BLE GAP reset CMPL event is generated from ACP GAP EVTCB function. Now call the ACP profile INIT function. ACP profile INIT function serves to register BLE profiles. Here you can register BLE standard profiles along with custom profiles. Peripheral example performs advertising as a default option, but as you can see, it is composed of command line interfaces. You can see from a terminal program that when you type in certain commands, corresponding functions run.
Each example project needs a corresponding configuration for the target board MCU. Click on Project option and you will see a new window called Target option. A31R118 uses a Cortex-M0 Plus core, so select ARM-CM0P from the Device tab. Please check whether the starting address and size for the ROM and RAM are correct. From the C slash C++ tab, please check if the Define section shows A31R118, A31R118 underbar EBK. From Linker tab, please check if Scatter file shows Core ARM Target A31R118.scp file. Finally, configure debug options. From Debug tab, Check if it shows CMC Step Debugger on the Use section and press the Settings button. When you select CMC Step from the debug box, please check whether the target is connected and an ID is listed up correctly on the CPU ID list. Then, in order for the device to automatically reset when entering debug mode, please check the box for Reset After Connect. Now, in order to apply the flash loader file, press Add and find the A31R118.FLM file and add A31R118 to the list. Now you are ready to start compiling and get going. First, click the compile icon or press the F7 button to start compilation. We can check the compilation result in the build output window. Once the compilation completes successfully, you can see a message like this. In order to download a build firmware binary file, click the download button or select flash from the drop down menu and click on download. When the firmware is downloaded successfully, you can see a message saying download OK, verify OK. Now let's press the reset button on the target board. Then you will be able to see the firmware running with a log getting printed on the TerraTerm terminal screen. When you see a message saying profile initialized, you are good to go to use BLE communication. Now let's try out using the Able mobile app to perform BLE communication with a peripheral device. Able mobile app installation APK file is located at tool ABM folder within the SDK. First, activate the Bluetooth connection and location-based service functions on your smartphone and run Able mobile app. From the initial page, press scan button on the top right section. This will then show all the nearby devices that are advertising and list them up on the screen. Now press connect button beside Able Perry. After successfully connecting to the peripheral device, all the profile services registered on the device are listed up. By changing the handle of these profiles, you can develop applications of your choice. This is Able Throughput, a custom service developed by above. If you press the Able Throughput tab, the screen switches, and from here, press the button with the three dots on the top right. Please press Request MTU and type in 512 for the MTU value and press OK. When you press the Start button here, you can see the peripheral device measuring the data throughput and scale moving accordingly. If in case you want to check how the code is running line by line or to check for any errors after revising the code, you can use debug mode. You can enter debug mode and then set up breakpoints wherever you want. Press step and then you can check status for each code line. 
So far, we have looked into how to use our 32-bit BLE MCU starter kit. Uh, we hope you achieve your dream with us above semiconductor. Thank you.